While Airbus plans to create self-flying taxis and test them next year, you may have missed Concrete to Survive an Earthquake and the Segway Robot for the Home. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where it is apparently not a joke that CNN launched its own drone service called CNN Air. I totally see the benefit, as long as they stay out of range of my favorite fishermen and probably the country's training eagles to take drones down. It was just this week that we all wondered why Segways didn't take off more and hey presto, they're like, I got you bae, robot style. Segway showed up at Intel's developers forum with a prototype that's both a robot and self-balancing scooter. Take that, exploding hoverboards. There's also a fisheye camera that will allow you to shoot videos and uh, photos from a wide angle. The still unnamed bot can detect depth and move around without bumping into things, but so far only on command. It might be used for home security or teleconferencing in the future, but who knows, cause Segway just opened up the SDK. A consumer version of whatever this becomes is slated for 2017. Great news, everybody. Your mother's backs are safe because this concrete doesn't crack, it flexes. A team from Nanyang Technological University embedded synthetic fibers in regular concrete, allowing it to bend under stress rather than break. The material even doubles its strength while bending. Surely, surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Like, I would never say... Shirley? Yeah. We are sure this new kind of concrete will eventually make its way into roads and buildings and whatnot, but I'm hoping for something even more useful. <laughs> and now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Scientists created an algorithm that can tell if Instagram users are depressed, but to be honest, the constant lyric posting was pretty obvious. Uber bought self-driving truck company Auto the same week Ford said it's focusing on self-driving cars. Twitter suspended 235,000 accounts for promoting terrorism. Gawker is shutting down after a Univision buyout. And the world's longest aircraft went for a test flight and also spawned some uncomfortable headlines. Have great weekends and we'll see you Tuesday.